In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 16, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago Cubs vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Chicago Cubs will play the Arizona Diamondbacks in Game 2 of their series on Saturday night at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona won the first game in this series by a score of 6-4 on Friday night and they are currently tied with the Reds for the last National League wild card spot. The Diamondbacks have lost four of their last five games. They struggled offensively during that stretch and scored only six runs in their last three games. Their offensive struggles will continue in this game because Hendricks has done a good job on the mound in recent starts, giving up six earned runs in his last three starts. He gave up four runs in his last two road starts and will keep their offense in check. The Cubs split their last four games. They are playing well offensively and scored 17 runs in their last four games. Expect them to play well offensively in this game because they've hit the ball well against right-handers and Davies has been shaky on the mound, giving up nine runs in his last three starts. He gave up six runs in his last two home starts and with Arizona having the 10th worst bullpen in the league, they will have a hard time slowing down the Cubs in this game. Conveniently, the one win of the five-game sample was when Kyle Hendricks pitched this past Sunday. The the right-hander was excellent, going 5.2 innings and limiting Arizona to just two earned runs. Furthermore, this game could come down to the bullpens later on. And, with that being said, it's worth noting that the Diamondbacks used up quite a few of their relievers yesterday, five to be exact. On top of that, their arm barn is their biggest weakness. They're currently ranked 21st in earned run average and 19th in WHIP. I like for Chicago to ride a solid Hendrick start and put up some runs late. Arizona just keeps on beating up on the Cubs, and maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but I just don't feel comfortable having Zach Davies as my starting pitcher if I'm 100% honest, especially at this time of year with a lot at stake. Kyle Hendricks has pitched better on the road this season, and I think he does enough here to get the Cubs a win and a much-needed one at that on the road here. So the Chicago Cubs' money line is our full game side pick. I'm expecting the Cubs to score plenty of runs in this game. For starters, their offense has been the reason why they've found so much success this season. I was ragging on Arizona's bullpen above. Well, Chicago should be able to put up runs early on as well since they're running into Zach Davies. The former Cub is having an ugly season as he enters with a 6.81 earned run average and 1.61 WHIP. On the flip side, Arizona's offense has solid numbers against Hendricks. I'm expecting him to turn in a decent outing, but I think the Diamond backs can put up a few runs. The current roster is slashing .321, .367, and .518 against him over 112 at bats. This game will be a barn burner. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Tigers vs. Los Angeles Angels The 2023 Major League Baseball season continues sab September 16th with a 16-game slate including the American League showdown from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. Detroit and Los Angeles lock horns in the second of a three-game series at Angel Stadium, and Friday's opener has been excluded from this preview. Back in July, the Angels swept a three-game set at Comerica Park in Detroit. It is extremely difficult to believe in a rookie pitcher making his second career outing, so I am fading him here. When looking at the offenses in the second half of the regular season, the Tigers are scoring 4.11 runs in their previous 57 games while the Angels are averaging 4.25 runs in their last 56 games. I'm not excited to get behind either of these losing teams that have nothing to play for at this stage. However, Sawyer Gibson Long has just five innings under his belt and is hard to trust given Hen's small sample size. Tyler Anderson hasn't been good with a 5.36 earned run average, but he's better at home where his earned run average drops to 4.67 and he's allowed just five runs in his last 13.1 innings. The Angels are a mess and don't look like they're even interested in playing, but I have more confidence in Anderson than an unknown in Gibson Long. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick.
We have a relative unknown with Sawyer Gibson long at the MLB level and Tyler Anderson is pitching to a 6.38 earned run average and a 1.34 WHIP in his last seven games so runs should be scoring. These bullpens have been getting hit as well so it does not stop when the starter is pulled from the game as Detroit ranks 19th with a 4.25 reliever earned run average this season while Los Angeles is down at 24th with a 4.68 bullpen earned run average. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Seattle Mariners The Los Angeles Dodgers face the Seattle Mariners with both teams looking to improve on great seasons. The Dodgers have an 88-57 record, are in first place in the National League West Division, and have the second-best record in the National League. The Mariners have an 81-65 record and hold the final wild-card spot in the American League. For the upcoming game, the Dodgers will turn to Clayton Kershaw as their starting pitcher who has allowed only five runs in his last three starts while the Mariners will turn to Bryce Miller who has allowed nine runs in the last three starts. The Dodgers were able to get the win in Game 1 of this series, which makes this game even more important for the Mariners. Seattle is currently in the last American League wild card spot, but they are only up half a game on the Blue Jays. Seattle is starting Bryce Miller, who has allowed three earned runs or fewer in four of his last five starts. Los Angeles is starting Clayton Kershaw, who has allowed seven earned runs in his last five starts. Kershaw has been dialed in recently and the Dodgers lineup is one of the best in baseball. Seattle is falling flat at the worst time for them, and going up against the Dodgers, even with Los Angeles on the road, is not a great opponent to try to turn things around against. Los Angeles is a solid lineup from top to bottom, and I just think that they find a way to get it done again and add to Seattle's misery again here. So the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have great lineups that look to control this game from the first pitch. The Dodgers, who average 5.66 runs per game, should drive in runs at will with Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact and powering the ball to easily play bass runners. The Mariners, who are averaging 5.15 runs per game since the All-Star break, should run up the score with Julio Rodriguez, J.P. Crawford, Cal Raleigh, and the rest of the lineup swinging for the fences and crushing pitches to circle the bases at will. Los Angeles has been excellent on offense this season. They are top five in the league in runs, home runs, RBIs, walks, OBP, SLG, and ops. The Mariners have fared well against lefties this season. Seattle is top 10 in the league against southpaws in batting average, OBP, SLG, and ops. Julio Rodriguez, Teoscar Hernandez, and Ty France each hit over .300 against left-handed pitching this season. This will be a higher scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.